wonderful people and welcome back to another tutorial. I'm Wild and today I'm going to show you the basics of banner making as well as 10 beautiful banners for your cottagecore, fairy or really any build if you want to add a bit of pizzazz. There are chapters throughout this video so if you want to see a particular banner you can skip straight ahead to it. Let's get going. The first thing you need to do is create a banner. Banners can be crafted using any six um, pieces of coloured wool and a stick. You can also find them in woodland mansions, savannah villages, outposts or trade with an expert level cartographer. Then to decorate your banner you're going to need a loom crafted with two pieces of wood and two string. Looms are used to decorate banners from 1.14 to the latest update. If you're in an earlier update you'll need to use a crafting table. Once you've got your design on the banner and you might want to copy it to another and you can do this in a crafting table by taking your decorated banner and a banner of the same colour and placing them next to each other and there you go, two banners. Note they have to be the same colour of banner. Plain banners and dyed banners can also be placed on a shield. This uses up the banner and doesn't change the shield except for the cosmetics. Place it next to each other and look at that! A beautiful shield! Before you can put your banner on the shield you need to add the design. There are 34 designs available in the loom plus 6 patterns. Banner patterns can be used an unlimited number of times and they contain complicated designs like these ones. Snout banners are not craftable but can be found in bastion remnants. Flower charge banners can be made with paper and an oxide daisy. Creeper charge can be used uh, can be made with paper and a creeper head. Globe banners are also not craftable but they are sold by master cartographers. Skull charge banners are made with paper and a wither skeleton skull. And the thing, which is the old Mojang logo, can be crafted with paper and an enchanted golden apple. You can fit a total of six designs on a banner, including the banner patterns and the ones in the loom. And if you make a mistake, you can always wash it off in a cauldron. Now that you know the basics of banner making, let's get working on some awesome designs. This first design makes a great window shutter. First, make a white cross on the light grey banner and then a white border. This banner makes an excellent curtain with a scalloped edge. First, add a top and bottom gradient in white. Then. Add pink stripes and a blue chief indented along the top. This next rose banner is really pretty. Begin with a lime flower using a banner pattern, then a green thing again using a banner pattern, next a white diagonal on the bottom right hand side a pink square in the top corner and then finish off the shape of the rose with a border and a dented chief. This angel wing banner looks really magical. First some white stripes and a pink top section, a white flower using a banner pattern, a center stripe and mountain and to finish it off a yellow gradient. Just gorgeous. This little turtle banner is adorable. Create the turtle's body And then add a shell. How sweet! 
Try creating this happy bunny banner. First the magenta downwards gradient, a black circle for the eyes, add a white flower, yellow downwards point, an X for the ears and body, and finish with a border. For this magical heart banner, you'll need magenta, white and light blue. Two different patterns in this design, a skull and the flower. Now the magenta dot for the heart. And make it look more heart-like. And soften the look. A cute little axolotl banner, perfect for 1.17. First a black diamond for the eyes. And then a pink X. A blue square. A pink flower. And finish off your axolotl. A beautifully cinematic picture for your house. Create a sun. And the sunset. And a snow-capped mountain. How picturesque! Our final design is this gorgeous flower. Add a subtle detail with some yellow. Add the leaves. And finally, the flower. Base of blue adds some texture. That looks magnificent! So now you know the basics of banners and how to create 10 gorgeous designs to spruce up your Minecraft world. Stay tuned for more build tutorials and lots of things to come. And please consider hitting that subscribe button. See you later!